2001 D. Lincoln Scent, graded in Mint State 69 Red by PCGS. According to website of grading service, the 2001 D. Lincoln Scent is very common. Examples can easily be found in circulation, up to about MS-65 condition. Examples in MS-66 to MS-67 can be found in mint sets, bags, or rolls. In MS-69 condition, it is very scarce, but if someone decides to buy one graded, with enough patience, one will eventually surface in the market. Nevertheless, PCGS certified just 23 specimens this fine, including this penny. Medium pink luster bathes smooth, satiny surfaces on both sides of this lovely superb gem. It fetched a sum of $920. Number 3. 2005 Lincoln Scent with Satin Finish from Special Strike, graded in Mint State 70 Red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, in 2005, the U.S. Mint introduced a satin finish uncirculated coin set which gave the coins a special satin-like appearance. Coins were struck with sandblasted dyes and in burnished coin blanks. The satin finish coins were only struck from 2005 to 2012. Dot, most examples came in really good quality with most examples grading about MS67, MS68 condition. Nicer examples graded MS69 while very few achieved the MS70 grade. This numismatic pinnacle ended up selling for $1,725. Number 2. 2004D Wisconsin State Quarter. Highly sought after extra leaf low variety. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. This popular cherry picker's variety features an apparent extra leaf positioned low on the husk of corn. According to cherry pickers, the artifact resulted when a tool with a rounded edge was deliberately impressed into the working die. The leaf was not part of the original design. This delightful superb gem is sharply detailed, impeccably preserved, and fully lustrous with outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $6,000. Number 1. 2014D Sacagawea Dollar Mule with Presidential Dollar Graded as AU58 by NGC A mule is perhaps the most fascinating mint error known to modern collectors. Most error types, such as off-center strikes, brockages, indents, die caps, wrong planchets, etc., are the product of some part of the mechanical coin production line failing to function as normal. Many such errors are the statistically inevitable result of striking hundreds of millions of coins per year through a single set of presses. Others are so fantastic that it would be illogical not to accept the idea that they had help getting out of the mint. Mules, on the other hand, are an error of their own breed. Broadly speaking, a mule is a coin struck from two dies that were never meant to be paired. Rather than the product of mechanical failings, as are most modern mint errors, mules are the product of human error. The present lot stands apart on its own ground. The obverse is from an ordinary 2014 D. Sacagawea dollar, but the reverse is that intended for the presidential dollars of that year. It was sold for $84,000. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one!